Would you check out that gourd hanging from the tree? Doesn't that look close? Pretty cool. Ahoy there, matey! Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw, we are looking at the Bionic Zoom. You know what? Enough talk. Let's get right into this review. Here is our Bionic Zoom. Of course, you can see this is allegedly a high definition optic lens and it has eight times magnification or zoom. And they, of course, say it's good for a whole lot of uses. I purchased this for $15, but I've actually seen it listed as high as $30. Let's do a quick unboxing to see what we get. Unbox, we find, of course, the Bionic Zoom itself, a nice carrying case, plus we have a lens cleaning cloth and some directions. Let me talk quick about the price. I actually saw this at Lowe's and it had a retail price of $30, but marked down to $15 on like a clearance. So I don't know if that's like a quick sale or really it wasn't selling, so it was marked down. Needless to say, my son thought it was cool, so we ended up buying it and we're putting out this review. The directions weren't very good, so let me try to walk you through a few things. You actually have the optical part right here where you're able to turn for focus, like depending on your eyes. Plus there's this part right here where you can turn, this is what's zooming in and out. You actually utilize both of them to get the clearest picture possible. You can of course see the color pattern. It's this light gray and orange. This whole thing feels as though it's made in some sort of rubber. I really do like that. I kind of wish, however, this was like black because I fear that this gray is going to get dirty pretty easily. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but it also comes with a convenient carrying strap so you could sort of be hands-free or loop it on something if you don't want to hold on to it all day. We want to get a quick weight of the Bionic Zoom because man, do you really want to carry something around that's real heavy? So we set it on our scale. Look at that. The directions actually tell us it's 11.5 ounces, but as you can see, we are only 7.2 ounces. Do a quick measurement from top down. You see it's around six inches. And of course, at the widest part here, you're just about two inches. The directions do recommend that you store this in a cool, dry place and keep it in this carrying pouch just to keep it safe so you don't damage either the Bionic Zoom or the lens. Of course, we already talked about the cleaning cloth. They actually recommend only to use the cleaning cloth and not to clean the lenses all that often because excessive cleaning either with this or a coarse cloth could scratch the lens. In my opinion, I don't know why it did not come with a cap to put on over here so I can keep that lens protected. Even in the carrying case, it is exposed. The Bionic Zoom also recommends not looking directly at the sun, but like we needed that because that should be a no-brainer. Also, this is water resistance, meaning it can be splashed, but it cannot be submerged. And so really that's all there is to it. This can be used day and night. First thing we're going to do is going to test it during the day. Maybe we can find some birds. And then, of course, we might try to look at the stars or the moon at night. I wanted to do some bird watching today, but unfortunately, it's really, really windy and the birds don't want to, well, be out, I guess. So we're still going to try out our bionic zoom. And if we see a bird, that'll be awesome. So there's a tree right in front of me, and that's about 50 feet away. And there's actually a gourd hanging from that tree. You might be able to see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bionic zoom in front of the camera and see what it looks like. All right, let's line it up same tree oh where is it there's the gourd see how close it looks this is the same angle you notice i'm gonna try to hold this steady i can see that it's wobbling here on camera it's pretty clear in the middle but around the edges of course it's a little fuzzy now it's not as bad as it's looking on camera that's just because i'm having trouble lining up the lens with the bionic zoom but man i can't see that up close there it is I actually just brought the camera up close to this gourd because look inside, there's been a busy bird making a nest, no eggs in there, but that's pretty sweet. Two hours out here, oh, it flew away. I said I finally spotted a bird and it flew away. All right, here's another bird. We're way over there sitting on that telephone wire. Let's see what it looks like with the bionic zoom before this one flies away. Bionic zoom. And there it is up close using the bionic zoom. I'm sorry, it's so wobbly. It's hard to keep my hand still while holding this to the camera. But look, I can't actually see the bird. Now, could I tell what that bird is? Not at all. But I know there's a bird there. There, right to the left of the telephone pole is a bird. I'm actually going to use the camera zoom to see what this looks like. We're zooming in. Two times, three times, four times. Oop, I just went to nine. All right, we're going to try to hit eight times zoom. And there we are. And you can see that bird at eight times zoom using the camera zoom. Now you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna zoom back to one and try the bionic zoom to see what looks better. 
I am really appreciative of that bird not moving because this takes a long time to get it into focus through the camera. But look, I'm going to give you a side by side. Which one looks better? Do they look the same? So tell me, what are your thoughts of the bionic zoom? Something you would use? Not so much. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Here we are at night. You can see our crescent moon. Let me see what happens if I zoom in on this moon. All right, so right there, three, four. I'm going to try to center it again. You can sort of still see the crescent. I'm only at six times zoom right now. All right, there we are at eight. Well, that's pretty cool. What I'm going to do now is let's attach the bionic zoom when we're back out to 1.0 as far as our zoom to see what it looks like. Actually, you know what? I can't hold it steady very much, but the bionic zoom I think looks better than my camera did. That is so cool. Looking at the moon through the bionic zoom. I tell you what, it is fuzzy on this camera, but in person, this thing is crisp and clear and pretty sweet. In this video, we were looking at the bionic zoom. It's a mini telescope that you can see things really far away. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price. I actually paid 15 bucks for it, but I have seen it as high as $30. In my opinion, $15 was okay for what I got. I did think it was kind of cool that you could use it during the day or at night, and you got two different experiences while looking at things. That was pretty neat to me. I tell you what, so when I was using this, I was really trying to get some pictures of the night sky. I tried it on a couple different cameras. I tried it on my cell phone. It was very frustrating. You just could not line it up very well. I kind of wish it was almost like a clip. You could hook this up to your camera just so it holds it steady, either your phone or a regular camera, but I couldn't. So I tried the best that I could to show you what it looks like. But actually in person, it is really crystal clear as long as you turn those dials. I was actually more pleasantly surprised with it when I used it. I thought, man, this is gonna be a gimmick and a joke and silly, but it was really neat and you can see things up close that are pretty far away. Let's talk about that claim of you can see things up to 50 miles away. Can you really do that? Well, you know what? Now that I think about it, I did see the moon through it and that's about what, 239,000 miles away? So yeah, that you can see, but definitely not something here on earth. You're not gonna see something up to 50 miles away. It was cool to look at birds. It was cool to look at trees. And my son thought this was a pretty cool pirate telescope. So in my opinion, it's A-OK. -okay. Anyway, that was my full review of the Bionic Zoom. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I was reading through the Amazon reviews and as per this review, they had a 4.4 star rating. Now there weren't a whole lot of people that reviewed it, but a lot of the reviews were the same. It's not what I expected, but you know what? It's not that bad. Some thought it was going to be a great kid's toy or maybe even a Christmas gift. I actually think, you know what? What a great idea to take this to a concert or a sporting event. If you got the cheap seats, now you can see what's happening. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Bionic Zoom. You know what? When I was shooting this video at night, I actually took my lizard necklace out with me. It's a review I did not that long ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that video right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.